Oh, uh, hey there, people. It's like Tuesday afternoon, 12.49 in the afternoon. I've been up since about, let's say, quarter after 12, so for about, about a half an hour now. Um, I got this thing working somewhat, as you can tell now. I got my, my, my audio back, so that's a bonus. And I'm just installing Google Chrome onto it right now because I kind of kind of need that. I'm going to go download the ATI driver so I can have HDMI support and everything. And then if this all works out, I'm going to toss this puppy downstairs and we'll be good to go. Yeah, buddy. So that's a big time bonus. Oh, yeah. And welcome to my vlog. grimy fart. So yeah, I got this thing all installed and ready to rock. It uh, seems to be holding up right now. I uh, went digging around and I found my 32-bit copy of Windows 7 that came with the Inspiron 1520. So I just threw that onto it and used the CD key off the bottom of the 1520 and it worked, so frig it. Or was it that one back there? I can't remember now. Either the 1520 or the 6400, one of the two. But um, yeah, I used that and got it up and running and stuff. It's a little slow, but what do you expect? It's a freaking old school Acer. So I'm going to get this thing all, uh, because I need to sign into my Google Chrome. Once it, well, there we go. I need to sign in my Google Chrome, and then I want to get the catalytic, uh, catalytic converter drivers. Frig sakes, the catalyst drivers from AMD. Drop them on here. I am running a 32-bit Windows on here now, so it should be hopefully more stable. We'll find out very shortly. Alrighty, just getting that Catalyst driver installed here, the 32-bit version. Let's see if this actually works. Here's open. Ooh, what's this loadout? That looks like an interesting game. Pirates. I like pirates. That could be an interesting game too. I haven't tried that one yet. Bioshock Infinite. Looked pretty good, but I haven't tried it. Tomb Raider I have. Yeah, yeah, I have. I got that for Steam. I haven't played that one. I played Crisis 2. I heard it was pretty good. Yeah. Devil May Cry. thought that was a PlayStation exclusive. Firefall. I heard that one's pretty fun too. Yeah. So, there you go. Oh, what was this? Never Settle. Oh, okay. So, I'll let that install and we'll see what happens. Oh, uh, I should also mention that I got an email from, uh, Capus's brother. And, uh, he's going to, uh, probably bring my laptop by tonight. Probably saying, what laptop? The MacBook Air. So, I might get that thing back tonight. Wouldn't that be awesome? You know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, still, I have no idea. Right now I want to see if this thing B-Sods on me, or if it actually works. Come on buddy, show me the power. Show me the power, child, please boot up. And don't fail on the GPU. skeedle dee 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 Oh, yeah buddy, it took. So the problem wasn't, uh, I have a password? Uh-oh, right back. Okay, so we'll see if this thing actually boots. So far so good. I'm just going to, uh, I want to see if the catalyst actually shows up on it. Like all the shit down here is working. You know, I got sound again. And I'm on wireless network. I don't understand why I saying I'm on there. That's better. Hey, look at that. Look at that. AMD Vision Engine Control Center. Nice. Very nice. Not sure why this AMD page is loading up. GlobalAMD.com driver installed. I guess it's to let me know that I installed the driver and it worked. I'm not going to register. So, yep. We have the AMD installed. And, um, sweet balls. So all I need to do now is install VLC on this thing so I can play some videos and we're golden. So there is the Catalyst Control Center. This computer is really slow. I should have put an SSD in it. But uh, yeah, nice. Very nice. Frig sakes. So I told you guys, you had to put a 32-bit OS into this piece of shit to make it run. That's how she works for some goofy ass reason. I don't know why, but... Well, I think what I'm gonna do is take this beast downstairs and we're gonna set it up in the place of that netbook because that netbook is a joke. Alrighty, people, I've gone ahead and moved the Acer downstairs. Tested it on the TV, tested it with a uh, YouTube video. Holy shit, she worked good. Yup, she works great. I got the TV turned off there. I just wanted to test it out and see how well it did. And, uh, yeah, she's sitting over there in the corner. Got the charging cable for the keyboard. And uh, if I kick on the television, grab the keyboard, which you guys already saw the video for. This thing is pimp, works great. And um, right now the computer's probably turned off its monitor. So we'll just turn this keyboard on, give the mouse a wiggle. And boom shaka, we are in Windows. So, you know, we got the cursor, touchpad works great on this freaking keyboard and everything. So, 
Got myself a computer down here now. VLC is definitely installed. Google Chrome and of course the recycling bin. That's all I got on my desktop. And down here I just got the basics. There's no software installed on here except for Google Chrome, the catalytic, uh, catalyst drivers. Audio does work. Allow me to demonstrate. We'll load up a YouTube video. So go into subscriptions and uh, yeah, we'll load up my Skaven Games video. What the hell? Oh, friggin' advertisement. Yeah. These aren't the real Chardonnay. It's only five calories per serving and has a great flavor everyone wants. Okay, so. Hello, welcome back to As you can tell, today, it's working shit. fine. Okay, dead. It's working fine. Um, today we're gonna wreck some so we're good to go. The Wi-Fi is working great, but then again, you know what? This uh, this friggin' Wi-Fi card, this Wi-Fi City, this thing used to get like if you look here, I'm getting full bars, right? That used to get full bars sitting in my garage. That thing is amazing. It's a one watt receiver. And it's just phenomenal. It was the best $13 I ever spent for a Wi-Fi card. It, it can pick up friggin' networks that are way down the road. So this thing works great. I got it hooked up to the home group. Got it hooked up to everything. So now I have my computer in my living room hooked up to my TV. One day if I ever do get a bigger TV, that'll be right on. Obviously this thing here can't really play any video games. Well, it can, but probably not well. But uh, yeah, so... Got that thing hooked up. We still got the Xbox and the Nintendo Wii over there. And of course, the Bell Express View and an old dirty Sony friggin' surround sound that's not hooked up. So, sweet balls. I'd say that's pretty friggin' awesome that we got that all hooked up. And I was chatting with uh, Cat Piss's brother because he's coming back from Toronto tonight. Or he's coming up from Toronto tonight. And he's bringing my MacBook Air. And I might be getting that back tonight. See, my original plan is if that Acer did fail was I, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that MacBook Air. I honestly have no idea. I don't really need a Mac, to be honest with you. And I was contemplating on multiple things, like I was going to use it for the media center on the TV, but I got that thing down there working now. And because I like running Windows, I'd rather keep it all Windows. So I was like, well, maybe I'll run that thing as my media center. But, well, the Acer's working fine now, so I'll just roll with that. Then I was like, well, what am I going to do with that Mac? So I was contemplating on selling it. That's right. Fixed, I was thinking I'll put it up on Kijiji for like six, seven hundred dollars. It'll sell for that, which is dicked. Even though it's only a dual core 1.8, 6 gigahertz processor with a uh, 120 gig hard drive because it's a Mac Air, apparently they're worth a lot of money. Hell, Apple's still selling that model. On the Apple refurb store, you can still pick up that 2010 model of the Mac Air for uh, friggin' a thousand bucks, you know? Brand, well, refurbished new. Theoretically, that's what mine is, so I could easily get 700 bucks for that piece. So, I don't know. I don't know. Might just hang on to it and maybe trade it off for a motorbike or something. Nah, nobody would trade a motorbike. Well, somebody might. But, uh, you never know. You never know. So, yeah, probably getting that back tonight. And just going to go with it. So, frig yeah. Been a good day so far. Well, I guess I can't make fun of Apple anymore, you know, for the old uh, leaving the new cell phone in the bar trick to get everybody all hyped up for the new cell phone because freaking Google just did it, sons of bitches. As you can see here from the CNET post, the Nexus 5 spills secrets along spilled drinks. Somebody who owned it left it at a bar to charge. That's right. They had it plugged into an outlet and then walked away from it. Now, it was password locked and nobody could break into it. But the fact that they left it at the bar is like, are you serious? And it even has the freaking code on it still, like the Google beta code. So that's freaking like, seriously guys, come on, come on. Apparently uh, Google, they've been selling the Nexus 4 like crazy, and they're not restocking the Google store with them because they're going to be rolling the, Google 5, uh, the uh, Nexus 5 out very, very, very shortly. And uh, apparently it's supposed to be a multi-core processor, not a dual core, but a multi-core, so a quad core. It's going to have... Uh, Better camera, better everything, and uh, things. There's people are saying that it's probably gonna make the S4 look outdated. So that'll be interesting to see. We'll have to wait and see when that comes out in the Google Store. How much they ask for it? Let's hope it's the same price as it's always been. 300 bucks for the 8 gig, 350 for the uh, 16 gig, and let's hope this one here you can put expandable memory into it. Frig sakes, the four you couldn't. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what this is all about, eh? Yep, a dip. Alrighty, well, I just finished uh, playing some Kerbal Space program here, and I'm just editing up the footage to add to my library of footage. 
so that I will have all of my video games ready to deploy. I'm gonna go make myself a bite to eat. Probably some sandwiches or something. Something simple. Because uh, I don't want to be snacking all night tonight at work. And I also just want to eat something quick and dirty. I'm thinking... Nope. Where the hell did I put that soup? Yeah. I'm thinking some chicken soup and a couple sandwiches. And we'll be golden. There we go, people. Lunch is served. I'm gonna go eat this and uh, see what's on YouTube's. Frick it. All right, people. Well, it's friggin' 3:30. Time to head off to work. So I'm gonna go let Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Wuppy out. Also, <coughs> grab one of these sponges to put underneath my camera. The bottom side's oh shit. That's bright. The bottom side's really stiff. It's like a scratchy pad, and the top side is uh, really flexible. So I should be able to wedge it underneath my camera when it's in my car, and it'll give me a better freaking thing. So, I'm gonna let the dog out for a quick potty. Killed all of his food. Good boy. And, uh, you gonna go potty? You gonna go potty, eh? Yeah, you are. Oh my god, you're so bouncy. That's all you ever freaking do is bounce. So, I'll let him out. Let him go do his thing. Oh, look at that. Tripoding. Sometimes he lifts his legs, sometimes he squats like a female dog. I don't know. He's pretty weird. Oh, maybe he's going for a poop now. I don't know what he's doing. He's going for a little trot. But uh, tonight at midnight, I'm going to pick up my MacBook from, uh, from well, I got to go to the Hortons over on Trout Lake. And then uh, he's not even pooping. I got to rock a piss. So I'll let him do his thing. I'm going to rock a piss and we'll let him back in and head up to the car. Yeah, he's totally squatting the loaf now. So that's good. He'll be all right till I get home tonight. Oh boy. Look at him. He likes to poop right there because it pisses off Cupcake, who's my neighbor's dog, who's probably outside. Nope. But, uh... That's why he does it right there, just to get their dogs all riled up, because he's a little instigator. You probably think, well, look at that cute face, you can't be that much of an instigator, right? Bullshit. This little bugger likes to cause trouble. Especially with other puppies. Must be having a good shit, he's squinting. Yup, must be having a grand old shit. Oh, there he comes. Puppy! Come inside? Whoa! Holy! Just like Super Oreo Brothers all over again. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, Jesus. He really throws himself into his jumps. I forgot to put my belt on, and then after I get my belt on, we're gonna head out. So, let's do that now. All righty, the belt is on. I'm gonna close my bedroom door. I got the window open in there to cool off that room. Son of a bitch, is she ever hot? Got my lighter, got my cigarettes. We're good to go. I need a jacket. Definitely need my jacket. She is not exactly nice out right now. Well, she looks nice out, but don't let that deceive you. Actually, it's not too bad out right now. We got mail. What do we got here? Not even for me. It's for the previous owner of this house, and what's funny is he's been dead for two years, so that's dick. Look at these two, just barking at me from the door. Cupcake and his older brother, or sister, I'm not sure. Just barking at me, little bugger. Anyway, people, it's time to get the frig out of here. We got a tank full of gas. And the car fires like a boss. So let's kill the audio, kill the heater, and let's get off to work. Uh, so all in all, it's been a pretty good morning today. Got that Acer finally running properly with the proper drivers and everything. It's working A-OK. -okay. It'll be a good home theater PC. And uh, it's working with the work groups, or the, what do you call those things that Windows has, the, uh, I want to call them uh, home groups, that's the word. So the home groups are working with it, and that's all perfect. So right on there, and uh, everything else is working great. So literally, we got nothing to worry about. Everything is flawless. It's just kind of like, what's he doing? Oh, now you put your stop sign out. Fucking idiot. But, um... Get the MacBook Air back tonight. That's awesome. We'll dick around with that when we get home. I need to format it and put, uh, I want to put OS, uh, I think Mountain Lion will work on it. I'll have to check. It said it would. So if that's the case, I'm probably going to, uh, I don't know what's installed in it now. I got my copy of uh, Snow Leopard from my white book still. So maybe I'll stab Snow Leopard onto it and then do the uh, Apple Store freaking update to. Uh, whatever the frig there to uh, mountain lions and then I can have mountain lions onto it and that'll be awesome and then I life and all that shit I got all that at home from my white book I also want to dick around with that white book because I was able to get it to fire up but there's no hard drive in it right 
So I'm probably going to try and stuff that SSD that I have into it and get that piece of shit going. See if I can get her to rock and roll. And if I can, then frig right on. That'd be awesome. Then I could have uh, the white book and the friggin' Mac Air going. I still have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with that Mac Air. I, I honestly don't know. That's why I've been debating on saying frigate and selling it on Kijiji and just making some cash because before I was going to use it to edit the vlogs, but let's face it, Core 2 Duo 1.8 gigahertz or 1.86 gigahertz, sorry. But it is a 64 bit processor, but she's going to be slower than Frig at editing. So that's why, like, originally I was like, well, maybe I'll use it for iMovie and editing the vlogs and stuff. And when it comes down to it, I'm so addicted to using Windows and, and, and Sony Movie Studio or Vegas Movie Studio, whatever the frig it's called. It just works better, like, I can do a lot more with it, like these driving vlogs and stuff, so Sony Vegas for me is the way to go, for other people probably not, some people like the Pinnacles, some people like the Corel Video Studio, some people like the iMovies, and you know, everybody likes their own flavors, the way she is, but for what I do, I find Sony Vegas, even though it has a lot more tools in it than I need for doing these simple little videos. I find it's the best one for the job for what I do. Now I do have that copy of Final Cut. I'm hoping I can download that from the App Store again because I bought that. Remember when Final Cut X came out like I think maybe two years ago or some shit? Maybe a year ago I can't remember but um, I downloaded it for my white book and it installed but due to the white book's shitty video card because it only has that 900 GMA at 64 megabytes, that's all it has for video RAM. You could edit videos, but you couldn't preview them while you're editing. So it would never show the video screen of what you're actually looking at. So it was a real bitch to edit on. So I never bothered using it. I just went back to iMovie. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but for the first, like, oh, freak, I don't know how many vlogs. Um, I think the first 150, 200 vlogs, those were all edited on my MacBook. I used to do them in iMovie and then cut them. Uh, cut them over to YouTube's and fire them up and I used to use a program called MPEG Stream Clip to compress the uh, the MOV into a YouTube ca uh, capable MP4 and then drill that up to YouTube's and it was good to go. Well, now I will have... Uh, and then after that when the, the MacBook was starting to give me troubles and I found out why it was giving me troubles because the hard drive that's something weird about Apple is that the hard drive gets to about 25% remaining, the computer starts to run like a turtle on a crutch and it starts doing some really weird shit like uh, what I used to do with iMovie is I used to use the option to actually upload right to YouTube's and it worked. You know, I'd set up my video, hit uh, publish to YouTube, and it would just render it up into the MOV file format and then upload it to YouTube for me. It took about four hours to do, but while it was doing that, I could just walk away and go play on my desktop or do whatever the frig I wanted, and that worked great, you know? But when the hard drive started getting full, then weird things started happening, and it would publish it to YouTube, but YouTube never got the file, or it would just completely cock over the program, and it was just whack, like. So then I switched to my desktop, my XPS 9000, and I started using Windows uh, or Magic's Movie Edit Pro, and that was good. Like, I never did driving vlogs like I do today, where I drive in the car and talk, and then the parts where I'm not talking, I speed it up. I've never done that with the uh, Magic's. It wasn't until I started dicking around with Movie, uh, with Vegas Movie, or Vegas Studio, I should say. Uh, Sony Vegas Studio, I think they call it. Anyway, I started dicking around with that program that I figured out that you can, it's so much easier to time lapse and stuff. So then I started doing these driving vlogs and they worked out. And you know, some of you guys love them, some of you guys skip them, that's fine, you know. Everybody has their own flavor and it's the way she goes, so. But then I started using that movie studio and I loved it. The only problem is, is it's a little bit unstable at times. Like she'll crash for no friggin' reason. You'll hit play on your keyboard to uh, watch a clip to see if it's right. And next thing you know, the some bitch divided by zero and shit the bed. So, oh well. I was actually debating on buying a Mac Mini for editing the vlogs, but then I decided in the end, forget it. I'm not gonna bother with a Mac Mini. I'm just gonna keep using the computers I have. And uh, right now, my main job, the reason why also I didn't buy Grand Theft Auto 5 yesterday or the PlayStation 3 with Grand Theft Auto 5, which is the kit I want, because A, I want a PS3, even though the PS4 is coming out shortly, 
I want a PS3 to be able to watch Blu-rays and shit downstairs. But I don't own any Blu-rays, so who cares? But I also wanted it for, um, well, just to have a PS3 again. But honestly, like, I, I don't need it. I could buy Grand Theft Auto V for the Xbox and probably be just as happy. But the PS3 means I can now play with Adrian and, and Cat Piss and, and, and Junk Drawer videos. And, you know, a lot of my friends have it for the PS3 so we could all, you know, jump into a co-op game and, and play, you know. So apparently when you're playing single player, you control three people at the same time. And that's pretty dick. So that's the whole reason there why I wanted the PS3 was so I could play with my friends. But that's not an option now because I'm saving my money. What am I saving my money for? Well, I want to go to Blokes in October. And uh, it's going to happen. Like, I'm going down there. And I'm partying with Bloke and we're going to get drunk and it's going to be awesome. And that happens shortly. Like, not even, that's under a month away when I want to go. Really, bud? Yeah, I know. You got a Nissan. It's fast. 370Z. But, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head down to, uh, to Blokes in October. That's if he's not busy. i got to talk to him some more about it. Let's see what he says. I contacted him about those pit bikes. Told him I wanted one. But I contacted him kind of late, so I probably caught him when he was going to bed. But I need to talk to him about the October, make sure it's all cool and everything. That, uh, you know, he's not going over to family's house for Thanksgiving or anything. And, you know, go down there and hang out for a couple days. Like, go down for the weekend, maybe stay a little bit during the week. Still got to make sure my parents can take care of Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Wuppy. Because uh, I kind of don't want to bring them. But if I have to and they let me, then I will. But I kind of don't want to bring them because... He's a good dog and everything, but sometimes he can be a real arsehole. Oh, freak sakes. Off to work, eh? You guys must notice now that the vlogs aren't as full of impact ever since I uh, had to go back to work. Like, I'm already doing 50. This guy's just got to, like, motor by me. It's that whole muscle versus imports thing, eh? Little does he know this car's slower than frig. Oh, I won, bud. Look, I won the race. Yeah, I won the race. Sakes. I don't know, these punks get these fast cars and then they feel the need to pull up beside me and rub the shit out of their engines when they launch. Like they're trying to prove something. Meanwhile, they don't realize that I love my car because I love my car, not because it's fast or anything. Doofuses. Oh well. Well, I'm hoping that it worked better with the sponge than the pack of cigarettes, as in my uh, dash cam mount. I paid a buck and I got like freaking 10 of these sponges. I use them for washing dishes, but. You know, you can use anything for anything as long as it works. Anyway, I'm going to park in my spot. Plenty of room on both sides. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, we'll seal this bitch up. And uh, we'll head her inside and carry on with work. And I'll talk to you guys at midnight when I get out of here. So until then, peace the frig out. It's friggin' midnight and I did something bad today. Yep, I sure did. Yeah, I did something bad. I did something bad. What did I do? Well, I kind of, uh... Yeah, yeah, that happened on my lunch. Yeah, fuck sakes, my phone's ringing again. Frig sake, okay, I'm going to the Hortons like right now. So I'm on my I'm on I'm on my way over to the Hortons to um, meet up with Cat Piss and his brother and Adrian to get my freaking my laptop, my uh, MacBook. So let's get over there. Oh, I'm finally home, people, and it's almost two o'clock in the morning. Frig sakes, went for coffee with. Uh, with Adrian, Cat Piss, and Cat Piss's brother, who brought me back my MacBook Air, and it's all in working condition. Get out of there. Freaking Oreo's all concerned about my freaking PlayStation and shit. So, I'm gonna bring this into the other room, and uh, we'll show you. I haven't even looked at the MacBook yet, so we'll bring this stuff into the living room. I gotta rock a piss, so we'll sit that there. And I'm gonna go for a piss. All right, so I figured I would show you guys what I got. Okay, here's the Sony. It's a PlayStation 3, the 500 gig model. Comes with Grand Theft Auto 5 and 30 days of plus, whatever the hell that is. And you get your PlayStation and a controller. And uh, yeah, there's no vertical stand. I don't really give a shit about that. You know, your basic thing. My only disgruntled thing about Sony that I've always had problems with was the controller. I'm a big fan of the Xbox controllers, however, while I was at Feature Shop, I found this. 
It's a uh, Afterglow AP2 wireless controller. But look, look where the thumbsticks are. It's like an Xbox controller for PlayStation. How awesome is that? So I'm hoping it's awesome, and I'm hoping it works good, despite the fact that it looks ridiculous. I'm hoping that it feels and works like an Xbox controller. So I'm probably going to do an unboxing video of the Grand Theft Auto PlayStation 3 for my uh, gaming channel, because, well, it makes sense. And uh, I think that'll be pretty awesome. But uh, right now I'm going to grab the MacBook, take it upstairs, hook it up, and I'll show you guys the awesome work that was done at the Apple Store in Toronto. So let's put her batter and have at her. Alrighty, people. And there we go. Friggin' MacBook Air is back. Look, the keys are actually good. It's not covered in friggin' chocolate sauce or God knows what the hell that chick poured all over it. The MacBook Air is back online. The webcam works. I just had to take a picture of myself with it. Um, I don't know if it has iMovie and all that other junk on it, but uh, I just had to fire it up and, and, and set it up and things. So, yep, it's good. It's good. It's, it's working. It's running macOS Lion. They've gone ahead and installed Lion onto it. It had Snow Leopard before, so that saves me from doing that. And after talking with uh, Capus's brother, he said, don't bother going to buy the new uh, Mountain Lion yet. He said, wait, because Mavericks is coming out, and just put that onto it. So I'll wait for Mavericks, and then I'll throw that onto this beast, and then uh, see how well that works. You know, it can't be that expensive. I think uh, Mountain Lion's only like 30 bucks. So Mavericks will probably be only 30 bucks too. I just hope I can go from Lion to Mavericks. And but all in all, she's freaking mint. Like she's 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 beaut. Yep. She's pretty snappy too. Like you know, for 1.8. Well, here let's go into here and about this Apple or about this Mac. And it's a 1.86 gigahertz processor, Core 2 Duo, two gigs of RAM. Um, it's got the NVIDIA GeForce card, 320M, uh, 256 megs of RAM, um, and there you go. So I'm going to check it for updates, and if there's any updates, I'll let those roll. So yeah, friggin' MacBook. The MacBook Air is home and working. What am I going to do with it? I have no freaking idea. I'm probably going to let it sit on this desk for a while and just be a computer, I guess. I don't know. It's got a pretty loud sound system on it, though. Like, for what it is, it's, it's not too bad. Oh, oh. Oh, software updates, eh? Okay, you do those. Uh, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Bunch of shit from Apple saying we own your soul. If you click I agree, so I say okay, take my soul, take my soul. And it's going to download some items. 2.71 gigs, what's it doing? Downloading the operating system again? Freak sakes. Okay, anyway, so we'll let it do that. And um, people were wondering about different things. It's got the card reader. Uh, what the frick is that, a USB port? Yep. That must be the display adapter, I guess, I don't know. And on this side here, you can tell it's a new keyboard because it never took the stickers off the freaking side over here. Still got the stickies on it, not a big deal. It's got a USB port on that side too. Where are the audio jacks? Did I miss that or was that on the other side? Oh yeah, it's over here, the headphone jack. Okay, must have a microphone somewhere on this thing. I just have no idea where the hell they stuffed it. There's got to be a microphone on it. Oh well, we'll let this thing do its thing. And um, I'm going to go shoot an unboxing video for that PlayStation because uh, I want to put that on the gaming channel. So let's go. That's right, people. The unboxing video has been uploaded to Scaven Games. I'll put a link uh, in the description of this video if you guys want to check that out. It goes live tomorrow at 9, roughly when this vlog goes live, so right on. And you guys can check that out if you feel like it. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button, because that's always fun to do, maybe. Ah. I'm going to go downstairs and see how this friggin' update's going for the uh, PlayStation. It's been doing system patches and all sorts of shit, so we'll see how well that's coming along. And, uh, I'd say it's done. I, I'd say that, but uh, I might be wrong, so let's go take a look and see if we can actually do things now. What sucks is all that running around I had to do tonight. Um, I won't be able to play this game, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and install it now and see how this goes. It's already updated to Mac, so... I'm gonna go ahead and fire this in. All right, so I stoved it in the system. Oh, hey, can you be any noisier, for freak's sakes? Like, really? Do you have to grind the shit out of the disc? Ooh, explosions! Yay, explosions! Ooh, look at the cop ratings. Oh, it's done. Nice. So I'm gonna let this thing do its system updates. Game also came with a map, which is kind of neat. So that's awesome. I'll let this thing do its thing, and um, yeah, I'm probably going to call her quits like real friggin' soon, because uh, I'm pretty uh, pretty tired, and uh, yeah, it's tough. So even though it's installing, listen to this thing. Because that sounds healthy. Freak's sakes. Alright, I'm going to let that thing install. 
and it's got 8 gigs to install so a frigate and it's friggin frigger and uh, yeah I'm gonna charge up my my other controller because I may want to use this one here instead of the actual PlayStation controller this is that uh, Xbox looking controller, pretty sweet eh yeah I like this one a lot better so doesn't have any battery life eh no she's toast so I'm gonna charge this thing up and then we're gonna probably rock and roll with this beast because it looks a lot nicer than uh, the PlayStation controller. So let's do that. Well anyway people on that note I'm gonna shut the vlog down here, edit, upload and get all that done. Might be able to sit down and play a couple seconds of Grand Theft Auto before I call her quits. So if you like today's video hit that like button, let me know you like the video and I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time people, keep on vlogging.